Michelle, thank you for coming by Synaptics. We wanted to show you uh, our new force pad. Uh, my name is Godfrey Chang, and I've uh, known you for a long time. We also have Ryan here with me, who we're going to use as an example later. Um, this is the new HP EliteBook Folio 1040, and it's a world's first force pad. Now, what's really good about this device is, first of all, the notebook itself, uh, it's ultra thin. It's one of the thinnest notebooks in the world. Uh, we just saw an example comparing it to other notebooks. Um, but the reason why uh, HP and, uh, can deliver such a thin notebook is it's using thin devices such as ForcePad. Uh, ForcePad in this case is approximately 2.8 millimeters thin. Uh, and, but what it does is it actually detects force instead of using a mechanical mechanism for click detection. So a typical click pad would hinge here and activate down here. But you can see here, there's actually, it's a uniform surface, and uh, you might not be able to hear it now, but you can activate it throughout the whole touchpad area. So if you are the type who likes to type and then activate it with your thumb at the very top, that's great. If you activate it in the middle, that's great. Uh, and you can certainly activate it in the traditional areas uh, in the zone down here. We also support uh, two, finger, um, two finger gestures or two finger button activation for the right gesture. Now, what we've done here is because there's no moving parts, it's actually, uh, we believe it's a more reliable mechanism than, say, a mechanical hinge. So over time, we think this will be a more reliable device. Uh, but some of the unique features with force sensing, um, this is the first uh, instantiation of it, we can actually use something called gesture continuation. So if we initiate a scroll, and all I have to do is apply pressure on it, and I can modulate the speed of the scroll. I'm on a website called uh, uh, Long, World's Longest Website, and it's really the world's longest website. Uh, but you can see I can scroll through it very easily without having to scroll. And now you're not moving your finger, you're just I'm applying not pressure. Finger. I'm just applying pressure, I'm modulating the speed, it's very easy to do. Just imagine you're in a you're, you're in an airplane and you're trying to do work. Instead of paddling up and down like I'm doing now, uh, you can just initiate the scroll and just keep your finger on it. Right? For the ultra-long documents where you really want to just scan and preview where you want to get to, uh, this is probably a lot easier to use. It is a lot easier to use by our research than uh, going to you know the rowing technique. Which and what's, is very what's the maximum amount of pressure it's capable of sensing before this, it slips? This has a, a range of approximately 1,000 grams. Now, uh, there might be some adjustments by tuning of the firmware and software, but the device itself theoretically is capable of 1,000. Uh, and we're also looking at uh, approximately uh, six bits of resolution. Okay. So approximately 15 to 18 gram intervals. And this device is uh, a central part of why this uh, HP Elite Book Folio 1040 is a great new ultra that you see in the market today. Uh, the other story that we'll share with your uh, uh, with your readers here, uh, Ryan, who you know, has never uh, touched a force pad in his life. He activated the uh, force scroll and gesture continuation on the first try. Uh, and we think force pad ultimately will be very intuitive for the uh, end user to use. Uh, this is the HB Spectre 13, and it features our uh, ClickPad 2.0 with TypeGuard technology. We work very closely with HB uh, to develop this device. Uh, not only is it a ClickPad 2.0, uh, but we've also worked with HB on something called Control Zone. You notice here, this is an ultra-wide uh, ClickPad. Uh, the dimensions are 140 by 55. Uh, and if you touch the surface, which you can't buy video, obviously, it's a different textured surface on the left and right. And the reason why we do this is, uh, you know, Windows 8, uh, by necessity, uh, requires edge activation and also has uh, an interface for both thumbs. So what we do is, instead of initiating an edge gesture with a touchpad, uh, what we do is we just initiate within that zone itself, and then we can scroll up and down, make it really, really easy to use. Again, this activates the charms bar. And uh, what this does is it, it switches between applications. And let's open up a few here. What we do with the edge left, sorry, left edge swipe is that we can actually navigate between. Um, different applications, make it re really easy to use. Mm -hmm. Now, does this also support swiping from the outside edge of the touchpad? Yes. Okay, so to switch windows and things like that? Yes, well, 
the, I think there's some settings on the driver you have to adjust, but the idea here is that you initiate the, the motion within the zone to have a much more reliable traction, and sure. uh, the user feedback has been great on this so far. The other key innovations with the ClickPad 2.0 are the mechanical aspect of it. So the many complaints that we've heard with our customers with the, click, with the traditional ClickPad uh, from our competitors is that you have really sloppy uh, activation and you have really sloppy corner performance. But we have uh, very consistent performance uh, activation along the uh, key areas. Even if you notice on a very wide uh, ClickPad like this, we still get consistent activation. Now, the real beauty of, uh, of having both uh, ClickPad 2.0, which really perfects mechanical, uh, we also have uh, perfected uh, the palm rejection. The number one complaint that we receive from our customers is when you're typing, you accidentally move the cursor. And I think sure. you have that problem uh, personally, as uh, you expressed to me many times. So in normal operations, the finger recognizes the finger and, and the cursor moves around quickly. As soon as it detects a palm, it stops it. Finger, palm, finger, palm. So we've actually improved the performance by over 70% of rejecting uh, the palm. Mm -hmm. And this is a substantial improvement in the user experience. The other thing we've also uh, perfected with TypeGuard uh, software is that it prevents false tap. So if you're tapping long, you don't accidentally activate a button that you don't want to. Sure. So this is the HP Spectre 13 with uh, our type. Our type guard technology, ClickBack 2.0, and control zone. Cool. Thank you very much.